Welcome to our video on the best Provence, France itinerary. Provence is a beautiful region located in the south of France, known for its picturesque countryside, charming villages, and delicious food and wine. In this video, we'll take you through our recommended itinerary for exploring this amazing region, including all the musty spots and hidden gems. Day 1, arrive in Avignon and explore the city. Start your day by checking into your hotel and freshening up. Take a walk around the historic center, including the Palace of the Popes, a 14th century palace that was the residence of the popes during the 14th century. Take a tour to learn about the history and architecture of the palace. Visit the famous Pont d'Avignon, a 14th century bridge that spans the Rhone River. Take a walk across the bridge and enjoy the views of the river and the city. In the afternoon, visit the Avignon Cathedral, a 14th century Gothic church with beautiful stained glass windows. End the day with a stroll around the charming streets of Avignon and enjoy a traditional Provençal meal at a local restaurant. Day 2, visit the village of Gord and the nearby Sononc Abbey. Start the day by driving to the village of Gord, one of the most beautiful in Provence, known for its stunning architecture and hilltop location. Take a walk around the village, and enjoy the views of the surrounding countryside. Visit the nearby Sononc Abbey, a 12th century Cistercian Abbey set in a beautiful valley. Take a tour to learn about the history and architecture of the abbey and its surroundings. After the visit, enjoy a traditional Provençal lunch at a local restaurant. In the afternoon, drive to the nearby village of Roussillon, known for its stunning red ochre cliffs, and take a walk around the village. Day 3, explore the Luberon Regional Natural Park. Start the day by driving to the Luberon Regional Natural Park, a beautiful area of Provence known for its rolling hills, lavender fields, and charming villages. Take a guided tour of the park and stop at the most famous villages such as Roussillon, Binou, Lormoran, and Ansouis. Visit the village of Roussillon, known for its stunning red ochre cliffs, and take a walk around the village. Visit the village of Binou, known for its panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. End the day with a visit to the village of Lormoran and Ansouis, known for its beautiful streets and relaxed atmosphere. In the evening, enjoy a traditional Provençal dinner at a local restaurant. Day 4, visit the city of Aix-en-Provence. Start the day by visiting the historic center of Aix-en-Provence, which is home to many beautiful buildings, including the Cathedral of the Holy Saviour. Take a tour to learn about the history and architecture of the cathedral. Visit the Cause Mirabeau, a famous street lined with cafes and shops. Take a stroll and enjoy the lively atmosphere of the city. Visit the Atelier Cezanne, the studio where the famous painter Paul Cezanne worked. Take a tour of the studio and learn about his life and work. In the afternoon, enjoy a leisurely lunch at a local restaurant, and try some of the delicious local food and wine. End the day with a visit to the Grenet Museum, which houses a collection of works by famous artists such as Cézanne, Degas, and Monet. Day 5 visit the town of saint remy de provence start the day by visiting the saint paul de morsoli an asylum where vincent van gogh spent a year of his life and painted some of his most famous works take a tour to learn about van gogh's time in the asylum and view some of the reproductions of his paintings after the visit 
Take a walk around the charming streets of saint Remy de provence and visit the town's main square, Place de la République, which is surrounded by charming cafés and shops. Visit the ancient Roman site of Glenham, which is located just outside the town. Take a tour of the site and learn about the history of the ancient Roman city. In the afternoon, stop by the Alpia Regional Nature Park, known for its rolling hills and scenic views. Take a hike or bike ride through the park and enjoy the beautiful scenery. End the day with a farewell dinner at a traditional Provençal restaurant, where you can indulge in some of the region's delicious food and wine one last time. And that's it for our Provence itinerary. We hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some inspiration for your own trip. Don't forget to try the delicious local food and wine, and take plenty of photos to remember your trip. Thanks for watching. And hit that subscribe button now, for more travel ideas and tips.